everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share, because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring guys. And today guys, it's Liverpool nil, Manchester United nil. A goalless draw. Manchester United still top of the table, two points clear of Leicester, and three points clear of those scousers, those scums. Yes, 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 those scums. Three points clear, my boys. Even though we drew, I have to say I'm pretty much pleased with the result. Drawing is a good result for all of us. Although we could have won the match in the second half, plenty of opportunities for Manchester United to capitalize and win that second half and get another three points against the to make them six points clear. But no, not today. Bruno Fernandes off the charts, Marcus Rashford with that counter attack, the opportunity to pass and slip Cavani in, no 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 no, he just couldn't do that today, but apart from that guys, brilliant result for us, it's a positive result considering what happened to us last season at Anfield, we can be pleased and yes, Manchester United are still top of the table. Two points clear for Leicester. Boom, 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 boom. What a brilliant week it has been for all us Manchester United holics. My Manchester United holics fans, Red United fans, bruv, it's been fantastic. A good week for us, still top of the table. Woo, woo. And let's get straight into that match. The first 20 minutes, as always, as expected, Liverpool forever having the possession of the ball, bossing it as expected. Manchester United with United kind of growing into the game after the first 20 minutes, trying to break away with quick passes, of course, as Oli's taught them to try and do things quick and direct. And of course, as usual, passing it to our oppositions, giving the ball away to Liverpool. But apart from that, in the final stage of the first half, Manchester United grew into the game. Well, like I said before, slightly grew into the game. With the first half ending nil-nil, looking like a good first half for us. For not conceding at Anfield in the first 45 minutes, gotta be happy. In the second half, slightly better second half for us, for Manchester United. Again, giving the ball away with quick, direct passes, just giving it to our oppositions. Again, it was just horrible with the ball. Manchester United with the ball, we just can't do anything with the ball. We're shit with the ball. And when are we going to ever improve with the ball? We just can't do shit with the ball. And it's so frustrating because the frustration just pisses me off. At times you have Scott McTominay getting the ball, they're just, just giving the ball away just easily. Mark Swashford at times, you know, giving the ball away sloppily easy. And we and Bruno, Bruno today, where was you today, bro? Where was you? Just, it, it was all on you. Sloppy just giving the ball away, Bruno. Bruno, last couple of games, hasn't been the best. And Anthony Martial as well, today on that left wing, you thought he would do something today. But again, disappointing on the left wing, not being that much effective. Pogba had a decent game as well, but wasn't as effective as you wanted to be. Fred looked good. With Cavani coming on, did it really make a difference? What did it do? Nothing. And the game ended nil-nil with Manchester United still on top of those scouts or scums. You definitely can still smell our farts, bruv. You definitely can. It still stinks, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to be smelling it for an extra week. Yes, definitely you scouts or scums. Definitely. But I'm pleased. Manchester United fans are pleased that we're still there. Still huffing and puffing. Whether we can win the league is another question. We can leave that for another day. Yes, I'm just pleased that where we are right now, and because where we come from, we've come from the slop, guys. And one more thing, the fact that Bayern didn't start and Lindelof started, and we still drew, nothing happened. You have to say, good, good call on Oli himself. He's definitely been doing well so far recently. And you can't say he deserves a sack right now. He don't really deserve no sack. What can we do? We have to stay with him. We have to just support him and be behind him. What can we do? My man of the match today definitely has to go to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw was tremendous. Going forward, breaking through the lines. But with that final third, slightly lacking as usual with Luke Shaw. That's why sometimes I couldn't Luke on Shaw. Because going forward, he's on Shaw. Defensively, he's sure. He's so sure and sounded. So yeah, definitely he has to be my man in the match. Don't give the match a day. Bruno Fernandes, disappointing today. Final third, decisions as well. Disappointing, giving the ball away tremendously. So many times. Bruno, another game where I thought, oh, he had a poor game. But yet again, with Bruno Fernandes always contributing in the previous games, he has to get away with this. Manchester United fans, enjoy the week. It's a beautiful Sunday for us. It's a good week for us. 
top of the table and of course for another week hopefully can continue for a long time and maybe with us trying to win the title might just become a reality for you Manchester United fans for all of us I hope it does you know but for now as coach Cam always says we move in silence guys and boy that's been your match reaction that I'm my voice spice that I've been out Thank you guys for watching as always. Remember to follow the socials as always, bruv. Trust me. Follow the official Red United account, which is Red United TV one baby. And remember to follow me on my own personal Instagram, which is Ivorian underscore spice. And remember to follow the Twitter as well, which is Ivorian underscore spice. And as usual, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to share your boy Ivorian Spice because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring as always. And if you want to piss off your boyfriend, ladies, Share that link so you can sort out starting so you can start an icebreak so he can be like, who's that? A man that can do better than you. You don't know, guys. I'm Avro Spice. Remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. I'm out.